and how are you, everybody? I'm very glad to come back again. And especially that I heard that this is a junior, the third grade of the university. You are very active. And the last time I attended your demonstration of the uh, experiment, and you are very exciting and enthusiastic. And I enjoyed it very much. Not only that, I heard that even you are now in the newspaper. Isn't it? There is a several demonstrations in elementary school. And I very congratulate you. OK. Last time was a more general talk. What, was a, what is a physics? But this time, actually, this lecture is very high standard. So uh, it is not necessary that you understand the line by line. You don't need to understand, really. Uh, but you, there is just many, many key words. It will appear. And the more you go to the advanced course of the physics, that these key words is every day you will encounter. Therefore, even now you are not familiar, but you should remember it. And uh, the, any kind of the study is one important uh, suggestion is don't go to the next stage, next stage after you understand. No. Even you don't understand, you go always ahead, ahead, ahead. And then after a certain moment, when you go, go, you know, see the back, you will see, you understand. Okay, therefore, don't worry, even you don't understand now. More, you, you have to familiarize the concept. That is much, much important. And another thing I want to tell you is that, for example, this time, I come, of course, mainly for, to give the lecture. But there is another uh, reason I'm here is I'm co collaborating with uh, Professor Tanaka. And uh, actually, in these few days, say, in one week, with uh, Kanki-sensei, we are right, right now a very exciting moment because we did a very big achievement of the research. So, I mean, you see that the Kanki-sensei told that he must to give the lecture then I told to him, you don't have any time to give the lecture. You have to finish this <laughs> calculation first before to give the lecture, because this is a so important moment in his life. OK, such kind of things. And uh, also, I want to tell you that the, uh, to achieve something in the research, that the, it is not necessary to go to the very, very big institute. On the contrary, often small group, but with a very energetic, enthusiastic, and high standard small group is often more creative than you belong to the large group or world famous group. Often that large group, you know that the, because you are working in physics, so you must know that the, for the sample of the statistical sample, bigger the size, the fluctuation becomes smaller. But the creativity comes only from the fluctuation. So therefore, smaller size is better because there is so big fluctuation. Okay? So therefore, I mean, like, uh, why I'm saying is that the Osaka Prefecture University is not so big university and small group. But still, I want to tell you that the, there is a very exciting development is coming in such a small university. Okay. And uh, I, because I'm actually quite familiar, maybe I'm more familiar than you, the Japanese history. You remember that the Nobunaga, he was a very tiny country. And the Imagawa is a huge country. But suddenly, one day, this small group becomes a center of the world, Japan, at least. 
Research is the same. You see that the, you learn the quantum mechanics. And then the, let me ask that which group is the most famous group in the history of the quantum mechanics? Maybe I will ask in the very end you. Yes. Which group or school of the quantum mechanics? It was the most important group in the history. If I ask you the one person's name about the quantum mechanics, you will... Schrodinger. Okay. The next one, another important person in quantum mechanics. The name of the very important uh, researcher, historically. Schrodinger is already, already nice answer, but but Raoul, speak. Hamilton. Hamilton is more concerning classical mechanics, and I was come immediately after that. Not Hamilton. No, okay. Then how about you? Planck. Planck is very important. Very, very important. Okay, but still not coming yet. Who, who, another famous guy. You see, two names is a very important name. Dirac. Dirac is important, but it's a little bit later. Okay, then next one. Fermi. Fermi is also great, but this is still not the explosion of the quantum mechanics. Later. Heisenberg. Heisenberg is very good. Still, this is also a very important name, but still, Actually, two names is missing, but especially one name. What is the name? And actually, the Heisenberg is related to this guy. Bohr, Niels Bohr. Actually, that is the name, Niels Bohr. Because the Heisenberg was a student of the Niels Bohr. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, there's one more great guy, maybe. I come back to the uh, Niels Bohr, but other, can you tell another very important guy? You cannot forget to talk about the quantum mechanics. You give up? Then how about you? Einstein. Einstein. Yes, that is what I wanted to. Yes, Einstein is a. You see, he said that the light is a particle. That is a quantum mechanics. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Actually, there is another few important name. Is De Broglie. And uh, uh, Pauli. 